while you are writing code, you might want to print out certain things to a console, like the raw value of a temperature sensor or from the ADC or from the built-in touch sensor. This can be useful while getting started or while debugging your program. Now in Arduino, this is accomplished by using serial and you can do two things with it. One, you can print variables to a console and two, you can plot graphs in real time. This can be especially useful when you're working with sensors because you can visually see how the sensor behaves. So before you can use it, you have to initialize it in your sketch. In front of me, I have an empty sketch and in the setup function, I will say serial.begin and this one expects one parameter, the data rate. Now for the ESP32, you can set this to 9600 or 115,200. You can pick either one, just remember which one you picked because you'll need this later on. I'm going to pick 9600 for now. Now to demonstrate how this works, I will make a simple counter. I will define an integer at the top of my sketch and I will call it counter and I will set it to zero. Then inside our loop function, I'm going to print out the value of this counter to the serial. And to do that, I'm going to say serial.println and then we're going to say counter. So this will take the contents of counter, the number that is stored inside of it, and it will print it to our serial port. Now, because the loop function is executed really quickly, I will add a small delay of like half a second before incrementing the counter. So we're going to say delay 500 milliseconds, and then we're going to say counter plus plus. We're going to increase the counter value by one. Let's save this sketch and let's flash it to our microcontroller to see what happens. Once that is finished, we can open up the serial monitor, which is located in the tools menu. So we're going to go to tools and then we're going to click on serial monitor. Now, if you can already see your counter here, that is great. However, if you're seeing some gibberish in your monitor, don't worry. This is most likely caused by a mismatch between the data rate that you used in serial.begin and the serial monitor itself. So remember that here I've used a data rate of 9,600. But if I go back to the serial monitor, it is actually set to a different rate. So here I'm going to open up the dropdown and I'm going to pick 9,600. So this is the serial monitor. Now let's look at the plotter. I'm going to close the monitor and we're going to go to tools and now we're going to click on serial plotter. This will open up a new window with a graph that is visualizing our counter. The plotter will also take care of rescaling the axis should that be necessary. So right now it goes up to 80, but as soon as our counter hits 80, the scale will reset itself to accommodate that. Now you can also plot multiple values at the same time and have them appear as separate lines on this chart. To do that, we have to go back to our code. And instead of using a single serial.print line, we have to print multiple values on the same line and separate them with spaces. So to do that, I'm going to change this print line into a normal print. Then I'm going to print either a space or a comma as a separator. Now I will pick a comma. After this, we can print another variable. In this case, I will use an offset of our counter as an example. So I'm going to do serial.print and we're going to print counter minus 10, for example. The last thing we have to do is we have to print a line break. And we can do that by saying serial.println without anything between the parentheses. Now you can also replace this last serial.print with print line. That would also work. All right, let's flash this to our board and see what happens. Okay, so it's done flashing. I'm going to open up the serial monitor and here you can see what it is printing. It's printing our counter followed by our counter minus 10. So that appears to be working correctly. Now let's take a look in the serial plotter. I'm going to close the monitor. We're going to go to serial plotter. 
Now both variables have a different color on our graph. One is blue and one is red. But depending on which variables you're plotting, it might be difficult to distinguish them. Now one cool thing you can do with the serial plotter is you can give names to these lines. To do that, all we have to do is print a name in front of each variable. So instead of just printing counter, we're going to print something else before it. We're going to print, let's say, counter one and then double points. And we're going to do the same thing for our second counter. We're going to say serial dot print counter two double point. Let's upload the sketch to our board one more time and see if the serial plotter is now using our names. So it's done. I'm going to go to serial plotter. And sure enough, you can see counter one and counter two, and you can easily see which color is attached to which variable. So the serial plotter is a really handy feature that I frequently use when I get some new sensors and I want to test out how they behave under certain conditions. The fact that it's so visual is really nice and it really helps me understand how sensors behave. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about using Arduino and the ESP32.